Okay, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Google Tour Creator platform. Um, so let's get, get started. When the platform loads up, you'll see some of the tours that I've already created are sitting here. Um, there are also now templates that you can work from. Uh, but here is where you would click if you're starting a new tour. I'm actually going to go to this one. This uh, is currently in draft. So I've, I've not published this. Um, famous historical sites. You can see that you can give the tour a cover image and short description and you have various categories that you can uh, you can drop it into. And then down the bottom here you can see the different scenes that I've started to add within this tour. Uh, so for example the first scene is the Acropolis in Greece. You can see I've got this 360 image which was pulled from uh, the integrated Google Street View, which I'll show you shortly. Uh, and then you can see the different points of interest that I've started to drop into it, including this uh, photo here from up inside the Parthenon. And I can resize this if I want to make it bigger or smaller, and move it around to get it where I want it to be. And I can also incorporate uh, audio. So if you look in the bottom right hand corner here, down the side, we've got our list of uh, points of interest. So that was the one on the Parthenon here, the one the height. A little audio recording explaining about the height um, um, from sea level of the Acropolis, and I'll show you how uh, you can quickly and easily integrate audio as well uh, in just a moment. So then coming along, I've got then got different uh, scenes. So next up there, I've got, you can see about the, the Colosseum, and again you can see these points of interest that I've already uh, laid on top of it. And this third one, which is currently untitled, is uh, actually the Great Pyramid in Giza. If you see here, you've got the uh, the vertical ellipsis, which is allowing you to choose uh, the option to move a scene to left or right. This is the order that these uh, scenes would appear in your tour, which uh, being able to control that easily is, is helpful because it allows you to um, build a chronology to the tour and uh, sequence events if you're trying to uh, build a tour that um, covers a specific trip perhaps that you've been on. So let me just go through actually adding in a new scene and some new points of interest. So I'm going to add in somewhere else. You can see it pops up with the choice to either upload your own images. If you've got access to these images already, perhaps you've uh, done a trip to somewhere local and you, you've taken some pictures on a 360 camera. So you can pull them in here. And then here is the integrated Google Maps uh, street view. So I'm going to type in uh, Taj Mahal. One thing to point out, um, sometimes you'll find that students will instinctively um, click on the very first thing that pops up. And in this case, the very first thing that pops up is a, a place called Taj Mahal Imports in uh, Santa Clara, California. Um, probably not the Taj Mahal I'm looking for. Um, it is worth going through that with students and making sure that they understand that just because they typed in Taj Mahal doesn't mean the first hit is going to be the right answer to try and clarify what I'm after a little bit more by adding India and there we go now there are obviously thousands and thousands and thousands of images on um, Google Street View that people have submitted and added so it does take a little bit of uh, trial and error to find the image that you want so for example this one that's loaded up is it's kind of too close for me it's right at the base of the building um, so I'm going to grab the little guy and pull him back this way. I can drop him anywhere there's a blue line. Let's come back here. One's not too bad. I've got a pretty good, good view. Let's come back a little bit further. Bear in mind, as I jump back, I'm now potentially an image taken at a different time of day or by somebody with a different quality of camera. So you will see variance in the, the quality of the 360s. That's a pretty good one. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to choose this image uh, for my tool, so I'm going to click add scene and you can see here uh, it's now added to my scene so let's call this charge Mahal and you'll see that replicated down here um, I can add in some uh, basic description to this, the scene if I want to as well and then let's add in a point of interest right here in fact, let's pull it down a little bit and I'm going to pull in a photo that I've already got ready. Inside the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is a mausoleum 
for the third wire. Former Emperor uh, Shah Jahan. Okay, and you can see look, I can move the image around, scale it as I wish. It's probably about big enough actually. That there. So I've now got that point of interest on the front. Let's add another one. Now perhaps this time I want to add a little bit of audio um, to this point of interest. The, the audio format has to be MP3. Um, you might find that your software that you have access to, the, the students have access to, only allows you to export in uh, M4A. There are various online apps that will allow you to convert M4A into MP3 quite quickly, but you could just as easily use um, a website like, uh, let's see if I've got it ready. This one here, online MP3 uh, recorder, very quick, very easy, uh, completely free. You can see it just loads up straight within the website. Uh, click record. The Taj Mahal took 20 years to build and was opened in 1653. There you go, click save. Um, obviously, some of you will have access to um, software, perhaps that um, can already export to MP3. If not, this is a really handy little website to, to know about. It's quick and easy to use. You can see here, I can come and click download. And we'll pop it open. And then I'll be able to just drag and drop that in. There we go, let's just play the back. The Taj Mahal took 20 years to build and was opened in 1653. Fantastic, there we go. So that's how you add the different points of interest and you can continue to build up your tour in, in a similar way. So you're adding the scenes within the scenes, you're adding in the, the points of interest that the user can click upon. Once you've finished your tour and you're happy with it, you can click publish. You can choose whether the tour is public or unlisted. Um, it's helpful to have that visibility option, especially if you're compositing a tour that contains uh, images with the students and perhaps some of those students are not allowed to be, uh, images of them are not allowed to be shared online. 